Okay, we're here at um, 12429 Laurel Terrace Drive here in Studio City. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. You'll have your general inspector crawl underneath. You'll physically look at everything. We're here to check the main line, and this inspection is based on my opinion. So I can tell you, we start off by running the camera from a two-inch cleaner located at the, all the way in the back of the house. This is behind the washing machine in this little outdoor uh, room that's disconnected from the main house. There's a bathroom here as well, which I doubt is really legal, but <coughs> we have our camera in about over 108 feet, and we're pretty much close to the property line. We're going to bring the camera back because we can't really push it any further than that. And we'll have a look at the line as we come back. This is all ABS plastic. So, but there was a lot of water standing in the line for a long distance. I don't believe there's enough grade for this pipe here. I doubt that this is really a legal bathroom over here. Now there's also a two inch kitchen um, waste pipe that we'll go through and uh, there's a clean out in front. You can see it starts to get going under water here. Um, just keep coming, just to see, because I think this is running around the side of the house possibly. But we'll have a look at it as we come back. <coughs> okay, stop here for a second. Okay, we've located this. It goes around the house. You can see it's filled with water over here. This is, has got no grade, this pipe at all. So I doubt, like I said, I doubt that this is a legal bathroom anyway. It's filled with water over here. So I will locate where it does exit over here. And maybe if you wanted, you could put an ejector pump. And when it becomes... There, that there's enough gravity because this is all underwater of you. There's no gravity here. Okay, let's stop here for a second. Okay, so that's underneath the concrete over here. Uh, this is uh, okay. Keep coming back. <coughs> so if there's grade from here coming back. You could put an ejector pump over there, and you could pump it all up, going up your other. So here we come out of the clean-out over here. We're going to pause the recording. Okay, we got our camera in from the two-inch kitchen. Can you run a bit of water? Let me just see something here. Let me just pause the recording, because it's not going, and we don't want to get stuck in here. Mm -hmm. So let me just pause the recording. Okay, so you see there's a lot of grease in this line here. Go forward slowly. Hi, how are you? Okay, now we look. Okay. Okay, we're not going to push our camera over here. The, this is the kitchen line. We're going to pause the recording. Okay, we're running the camera from the clean-out located here in the front of the house where the pipe exits. We're all the way out to the city connection in the street. There's the city sewer right there. So let's bring the camera back. So there's the six-inch clay lateral coming back from the middle of the street towards the property. So far, this all looks pretty good. A little bit of roots coming through. Nothing really serious. There are a little bit more roots over here. The line definitely needs to be hydrogetted. You'll probably need some periodic cleaning. The more roots there. Now it comes onto the property, it'll change to a 4 inch clay pipe over here and then it comes back 
to ABS plastic for the rest of the way. Remember never to flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels. So the little um, little guest house right in the back where the washing machine, the bathroom is, that doesn't have proper gray to it um, at all. The we're pretty much on uh, the kitchen line has is, is got is a lot of grease build up. We couldn't get our camera through there. This definitely needs to be cleaned out and possibly hydrogened. And uh, this clean out over here. The sewer line needs to be hydrogenated in the street. I'm going to pause the recording for a second. Okay, running the camera from the four-inch roof end, it's pretty much all ABS plastic. But uh, we highly recommend that you have the general inspector check everything underneath the house. This is all ABS plastic over here. wanted to check the main line underneath the house <coughs> from the four inch roof vent and you can see this is all ABS plastic as we come up the roof vent over here and we'll go ahead and we're going to stop the recording over here